Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading from now until the 15th of October. Happy birthday. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We're going to see whatever comes up. Um, this reading will not resonate with everybody. Okay, so just take what does and leave the rest. The King of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. So we have an Earth sign. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And some sort of balance is coming. Some sort of gift, perhaps. They may be giving you something or offering you something. You could be receiving something that really brings some sort of balance to your life from this person. They could be giving you money, or they could be giving you a gift, or something. Could be just a gift of stability, right? Security. Ooh, look at this stuff. So you have a water sign, too. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But whatever this is, somebody is offering you something, Libra. And this is your time, right? With Venus retrograde, it really is. So... I think that somebody is offering you something, and it's something that you deserve. You deserve this offer. It's an offer of love, okay? Somebody is wanting to, it looks like they're, they're headed in your direction with their love. It's like, I really, really want you. And, and it looks like they, it's a stable offer. Not only is it a loving offer, but it's a stable offer. <laughs> doesn't have to be these signs it can be anybody right Ooh. let me just get the rest of them before I keep talking wow wow it's funny the top row is upright the rest are reversed and I shuffle you guys know I use this this is my favorite deck I use it all the time so <clears throat> that's just the way they came out and they came out that way for a reason um, somebody is not telling the truth, okay? They're not telling the truth, and I'm sorry to tell you that, okay? They're not. Somebody is hiding something. And now here we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. There could be another person, okay? Okay, we have two women and one man. Just saying. We have two women and one man here. Well, we have another man here, but that's, that's the message coming in, okay? That's the action being taken. We have a liar. We do have a liar in this mix, okay? Somebody is not telling the truth, okay? They're making a wrong call. They're not seeing it clearly. Uh-oh. Somebody could be taken, being taken advantage of here. I mean, I hate to change this so quickly, but, I mean, be careful because you're dealing with... This is risky business. It's risky. It's risky to get involved with this. I feel like... There's been a relationship that has ended, right? I think this has ended in the past. I think there's a relationship that has ended. And now this person is coming in with another offer. But I don't think they're being completely honest. There's love, though. There's love. But there's ungroundedness. Be really careful because you may be seeing only out of the eyes of love and not reality, okay? So really, really be careful, okay? There's lack of reality and there's a lot of love. So, you know, some, when your heart gets involved, it's really hard to not make a wise decision, okay? So I do, I do think that there's been some sort of relationship in the past that has ended, but there hasn't been closure yet. And now we have this offer coming in that isn't really... Jeez, oh, I'm crawl. This person is manipulative and they may have some tricks up them their sleeve. <laughs> they know that you love them. 
They know that you have an open heart, right? What the hell is this? This is being taken advantage of, acting naive regarding a relationship that has ended. Oh my goodness. And this is not making the right call. Not making the right call. Not being practical. Not being practical because of the heart. You know, I you know, I can't make this shit up, all right? Make sure that you are acting out of a practical place. Be reasonable here. Let's get real. Okay, let's get real. Okay, is this really what you deserve? Is it really what you deserve? Is this person telling you the truth? Are they lying to you? What tricks do they really have up their sleeve? Did they just end a relationship with someone else and now they, they want you because, you know, you can help them in some way? I mean, keep that in mind. There's a secret. This person has a secret. Somebody's giving you something. They're giving you something, but I'm not sure it's honest. I I don't I you know, I can't say that it is. I'm sorry. They they are offering you love, but I'm not sure it's honest love with these two cards, right? I mean, you've got to look at what's beside it. And I know that it's hard when you want this so badly. It doesn't look like it's going to lead to anything happily ever after, you know? Somebody is has some tricks up their sleeve. <clears throat> this is holding on, and it's getting old. Yeah, there's been a lot of worry and there's been a lot of anxiety and despair holding on to something. And I think this person, I think this is somebody that you've been holding on to. I'm sorry, I do. Or this person's been holding on to you. Somebody's been holding on and they don't want to let go. They want a reconciliation, but it's not a real reconciliation, okay? Because upright is a real reconciliation. It's not a... It's not a real reconciliation. There's there's tricks. There's there's trickery here. And I think that, you know, you've already lost a lot with this, whatever it is. I think that you've already been through a, a period of struggle, a long period of struggle, and you've been holding on to this dream of happily ever after. And this person knows it. They know it. They know that you've been holding on. And they're coming in. They're taking action. But it's not... There's something going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, okay? There's a lie. There's deception with this moon card, okay? There is. There is. There is. There is. They're not telling you the whole story. The truth will come out. The truth will come out. That whoever is, is offering you something, it isn't solid, it isn't stable. Damn it! Oh, this, is, this is a test. This is a test. It's a test of your self-love. It really is. My, my test card is the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> You've been stalling and holding on to something that was going nowhere for so long. And I think that this person, you know is probably coming in with an offer now because perhaps they've been rejected and they want to put in effort. They want to now they want to put in effort with you. But it's unrealistic. It is unrealistic. There's there's it's going to be dissatisfying because this person really they're not they're losing. Okay, they're they're they really don't have anything to offer. 
Okay, they don't have any growth to offer. They see that you've been waiting for them. This is what this is. Somebody is, it's like you are being, you're going to be receiving an offer, I think, from somebody that sees that you have held on, you have given it your all, you know, you, you've been waiting for them. You've been waiting for them. And, and now they are coming in with an offer that seems to be valid, but it's not. It's not going to, the Ten of Cups reverse, it's not going to lead to anything solid. It's not, it's not practical. It's not reasonable. It's not realistic. It's going to cause you financial loss. Um, but there's, there's a, there's a deep, deep attraction, right? There's a, there's an attraction with this person that you can't deny. And you're excited about it. You're excited because this is what you have been waiting for. And they know it. They know it. They know it. They're going to come after you all hot and heavy. But are they going to stay? That's the question. The question right now is they're going to come after you lustfully and lovingly. I mean, they are going to say all the right things. And that is absolutely no joke. Okay, they're going to speak to you passionately. They're going to speak to you with love. And they're going to offer you security. You are going to be offered, oh, fuck, you know, the best opportunity you have ever seen in your life. That's what Venus retrograde does, right? And what's the outcome here? A shit storm is the outcome. You have the ability to... It's a false foundation, okay? Upright or reversed it is. There's no stability in this. The outcome is breakdown. You may be able to... This might last for a little while, but not for long. It's a disaster waiting to happen. And I don't like to give these kinds of messages. You look up Venus retrograde if you don't know what it is. You are going to receive a test in the name of the best offer you have ever received in your life from exactly who you've been waiting for, who you've invested your time and energy in. But it's not true. It's not true. You're going to you're going to have a really hard time seeing the truth of this if you keep that mask on because you want this so badly. There's denial avoidance, blocking the truth because I don't want to hear it, I don't want to see it, and I don't want to believe it because this is what I love even though I know that I deserve more. It's a false foundation that you can, it's a false commitment, it's false, it's a lie, whatever, whatever, but it's going to be too, it's going to be so you're going to be in denial over it, right? You're going to want to put in effort because you're in denial. Effort and denial. Yeah, the, the attraction is undeniable. That's a test, right? There's my test card underneath the attraction. That is a test. They're going to come out, like I said, they're going to come after you hot and heavy, quickly, fast. But it's very insecure. It's risky business. It's an absolute gamble. But it's love, right? But it doesn't lead to fault. It doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. I'm sorry. Not a cup super. It's 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 false. I'm sorry. I am. Okay. It's false. It's not true. You're gonna need to find your strength to hold your head up high. You're going to need it. You are going to need a lot of strength to keep trotting. 
unless you want to be involved in a competition. Unless you want to be, because that's what this is. It will turn out to be a competition. I see that, you know, this the, that there's an opportunity for happiness here. If you can find the strength and the courage to not involve yourself in this conflict. You've done a lot of healing. These are both healing cards. From the past. Somebody from the past is coming in. They are coming in and it's going to make you so fucking happy. It is. It's going to make you so, so, so happy. And it's because you, you stuck it out. You hung on. You hung on. You hung on. But I don't see nine of cups and ten of cups are both reversed. Ten of cups is under here reversed. Both of them. Nine of cups and ten of cups are reversed. It's not going to lead to happily ever after. It's not. You're going to be involved in a competition. It's a false foundation. I know you guys only want to hear what's, what you want to hear, right? That's the truth. It doesn't. <laughs> When you chase somebody and you don't let them go, they have control. The empress doesn't chase. And when she does chase, she loses. This is lack of self-love, lack of self-esteem, lack of self-confidence, lack of growth. This is not going to turn out the way that you want it to. It's going to it's going to be a loss. You have this is a test. It's a test. It's a Venus retrograde test. You have hung on to this loss. This person knows they have gone through some sort of it looks like a breakup of some sort. And now they want to come back for a temporary period of time. It's temporary. They are coming in with the best offer you have ever heard. But it doesn't lead to anything long term as far as I can see. This is the, this is the past that you have been dreaming of. But there's more to this than meets the eye. This person is not going to stick around. It's not going to turn into a reconciliation that is long term. It's not. It's unrealistic. You need to realize that you have a better opportunity, but as long until as long as you concentrate on that loss, you will continue to have these things happen, right? You will. Because the universe sees and the other person sees that they have control because you haven't let them go with the death card reversed. When people know that you haven't let them go, they will use that until you until you make them stop. I mean, that's the fact. That's the truth. They know that you don't love yourself enough to to stop them. So, I mean, that's all, yeah, that's the truth. So they can come and go as they please. So, anyway, I feel like this is a you guys are going to I'm sorry, this is not what you want to hear. But this is my prediction. I predict that you will be approached by somebody from your past that you love. And this offer is going to make you so happy. But I don't see that it's realistic. I don't see that it's going to last. I don't see that there's going to be any growth in it. I don't see a long-term reconciliation. I see there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of, you know, attraction there. But that's what it's for. It's This person is coming back, you know, it's sex. It's sex. I'm sorry. So, let's get you one of these. Okay. 
breaking trail a breakthrough is at hand you're at the beginning of a breakthrough Everything you've been doing for the past few years has been a preparation for what's ahead. There are instances when the path isn't clear ahead, and in those moments sometimes you need to break trail. In your life, it may seem that the path disappears. However, the only way to reach your destina destination is to push through. Keep going, doing things in a new way. Imagine a woman giving birth. <laughs> That's funny. I've said this many times in my readings. i got to find it now. It's hard, but through her great effort, a baby comes into being. Something new and exciting is coming into your life, but you're not allowing it because this is reversed. This is somebody from the past that's coming in, when it should be somebody new. But because you have told the universe, and subconsciously or whatever it is, either consciously or subconsciously, that you're holding on to something that's been dead for a while with that death card reversed, you know, a relationship that had ended for quite some time, if you're still holding on to it universally, they know. They know. So I think that, anyhow, let me get back to this card. Keep going. Do things in a new way. Something new and exciting is coming into your life. It's not about following the path ahead, but creating your own trail. It's time to stop standing on the edge of life and just take a leap. Your patience is going to pay off. Old limitations and inner blockages are dropping away. Don't let fear keep you from moving forward. This is truly the time to allow yourself to experience the fear, but do it anyway. Something for which you waited a long time for is about to come to fruition. It's the truth. It's the truth. Something that you've waited a long time for is gonna is gonna is coming. But and it's telling you to take a chance. So I you know, go for it. Go for it. But if I I don't I don't see it I don't see it being long term. I don't I don't follow your heart. That's all you can do, right? There is an offer of love here, that's for damn sure. Whether it's somebody new or somebody, or somebody from the past, or somebody that you've known in a different lifetime. There is an offer of love coming here, coming in, that seems really too good to be true. Good luck, Libra.